All right, so today I'm going to demonstrate the Bodum Santos uh, vacuum pot coffee brewer. Um, it's a pretty interesting device. It's, it's great for making large uh, batches of coffee, although today I'm just, I'm just going to make two cups of coffee with it. I've already got my water in the, the bottom glass vessel, which is called the jug, and this is the top glass vessel where uh, the actual coffee grounds go, which is called the funnel. And the coffee is actually going to be driven in the water um, through this glass tube, uh, this glass siphon uh, tube. So for this coffee maker, um, I've got about 24 grams, about two cups worth, uh, two coffee cups worth of uh, ground coffee. Um, generally, you use a, a coarse grind. In this case, uh, a lot of people, they'll suggest using a coarse grind, something that you would use for like a French press, but I've actually found that using a grind similar to what you'd use for a drip coffee works perfectly fine. Um, you actually get a pretty good cup of coffee that way. Um, this is the, the filter that goes into the upper funnel. It's just a plastic filter. It allows the water to come up through. Um, it passes around this filter, but it doesn't let the grounds come back in. And that's, that's kind of why you want to use coarse grounds, because these little grooves in here could actually allow some sediment to pass back through uh, into the jug, into your cup of coffee, which you may not want. So if you use a coarser grind, you can kind of prevent uh, some of that from happening. So I'm going to install this into the funnel, and you just pull on this chain, and you can attach it. And so now we have the filter installed in the funnel, so I'm going to drop the, the ground coffee in there. Um, this is the Hario Mini um, hand grinder uh, with ceramic burrs, so instead of having you sit here and watch me grind uh, 24 uh, grams of coffee, uh, I've just already pre-ground that, so I'm just going to dump it in here. level out the coffee. So like I said, this is really made for making large batches of coffee, as you can tell. There's really not that many grounds in here, um, but it does, it does a pretty good job making at least two cups. Anything lower than that, um, you're going to get a pretty weak uh, cup of coffee. So the nice thing about this is they say that you can't get a bitter cup of coffee um, I've actually managed to get a bitter cup of coffee, so um, keeping an eye on the time, especially when the brewing process is beginning up in the, the funnel, is really important. So uh, now we've got the grounds in the funnel, the water in the jug. The only thing left to do is attach and turn on the burner. So we just place it into the jug. There's a little rubber stopper, so you can just make sure there's a tight seal. Um, the seal is important because the pressure is going to be increasing in the jug, driving that water up into the, the funnel, and then mixing with the ground. So you want to make sure you have a tight seal, and then there is the lid to put on top just to make sure that we're not losing any of the water uh, during this process. So I'm just going to flip on the burner on to high, and we're going to let it, let it begin boiling, and I'll explain the process as it's going along. So I'm going to grab the camera and try and hold it steady here. Uh, while I explain this this process, so it's like a science. It's almost like a science project. Um, essentially, what's going to happen is the water in the jug is going to begin to boil, okay, and it's going to turn into vapor, water vapor, which is going to increase the pressure, the vapor pressure in that bottom jug, and this increase in pressure is actually going to drive the water up through the siphon tube into the funnel and where it's going to mix with the coffee grounds, um, you'll start to see it uh, very soon. The, the water start to saturate those grounds, they'll expand, um, it'll mix with the grounds. Then what we'll do is we'll remove the jug from the heat, cooling that water, the vapor will condense, the vapor pressure will decrease, forming a partial vacuum, but what really drives the, the coffee back into that lower jug is atmospheric pressure and gravity acting in the top part in the funnel pushing the water back through so despite the fact that its name is is it's a vacuum pot it's kind of a misconception it's really a a siphon brewing technique siphons work by by pushing fluid uh, through a tube and that's exactly what's happening is the, the increase in pressure in the in the jug pushes the water up through the siphon tube and then when we remove it from the heat the the higher pressure in the top part is going to push the coffee back down so it's really interesting to watch. So actually we can start to see, I'm going to remove the lid here. 
the grounds were starting to get a little bit wet. There was a, a bubble not too long ago. This process happens pretty rapidly. Um, the water gets pretty warm, starts driving up through there. You can already start to see a little bit. Um, you can see that the, the, the grounds are actually starting to get a little bit wet as the water is passing through that siphon tube. And this is all before the water has even begun to boil. It's just getting hot enough that it's beginning to exceed that atmospheric pressure uh, acting down on it. Let's take the lid off here. You can start to see some water around the sides there. As those grounds are getting pretty wet. So at this point, I mean, it's already beginning to brew. Now you can start to see it's really going. The water in the jug is beginning to boil. So what a lot of people will do is they'll actually stir this, but as you can see, there's really no need because the water is boiling. It's agitating the grounds for you. Uh, you don't really need to get in there with a chopstick or a spoon and actually stir it. Um, so we can start to see exactly what's going on here. So what you'll do is, depending on how strong you want your coffee, you'll let this brewing take place for about 30 to 60 seconds. Um, I generally leave it for about 30 to 45 seconds, and then I remove it from the heat and let the coffee get driven back down. And you'll notice there's still some water left in here. This is very important. This little bit of boiling water is actually supporting the water that's in the upper funnel. So if there were no water in there, you'd immediately want to remove it from the heat. So at this point, it's been about a minute. I'm going to remove it from the heat. I'm going to turn off my burner. Remove it from the heat, and what you'll see is the water will stop boiling, the vapor will begin to condense as that water is getting cooler, um, dropping the pressure, the vapor pressure in that lower jug, and the atmospheric pressure combined with uh, gravity is going to push that coffee right back through that siphon tube, just like that, into the bottom jug. This process can take a few minutes as that water is beginning to cool and starting to push that coffee back down. You'll know when it's done when you get like a little bubble as it's done pushing all the water through. And the nice thing about that is the grounds are actually going to be almost completely dried. So it makes it very easy to clean. All you got to do is just wipe out the grounds, rinse both the, uh, the jug and the funnel, and you're good to go. take a peek in here. Grounds are still a little bit wet. There's still a little bit of water left in there. But that's okay as it continues to cool. Uh, that'll get pushed right on through. Just takes a couple minutes. And you get a pretty smooth cup of coffee out of this machine, that's for sure. So like I said, I mean Despite the fact that its name is a, is, is a vacuum pot, that's almost kind of a misconception because there really isn't a vacuum formed that's pulling the water. Um, a lot of what's happening is pushing, and that's more of a siphon technique. Um, there may be a partial vacuum formed as the water is cooling in the lower jug, um, but really what's driving that is, okay, so you can see this is the end of the brewing process as we're, we're pushing all the coffee back into the lower jug. But again, like I was saying, what's really driving the 
the water and the coffee through that siphon tube is the difference in pressure and it's always going from low or from high to low pressure and so that's more of a, a siphon technique than an actual vacuum um, but it doesn't really matter because it makes a great cup of coffee so at this point a lot pretty much all the water's gone through take a look you can actually see those grounds are really dry uh, a lot of that water has already been pushed all the way through the grounds again making clean up a breeze so anyway at this point uh, the brewing process is done so thank you very for, thank you very much for watching